Oh yeah, how's it going everyone? <coughs> Maryland here. Sorry for the coughing. I uh, I made some strawberry watermelon like drink stuff and <laughs> wouldn't you just know, you ever have it where it goes down like the wrong pipe and it's just like, ah, oh, I hate it. Okay, anyway, hopefully that will clear up pretty soon. That's always the worst because it's like you want to stay hydrated, but yeah. Uh, all right, so anyway, here is what is going on today. We're doing things different in June. We are indeed on a new month, which is really cool. Uh, just the other day, I posted a an unboxing video of the newest set, Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield Chilling Rain, which, let me tell you straight up, having to type that out so many different times, having the chilling ending with ng and then rain ending with gn has thrown me off so many times it's one of those silly things but anyway i did post a video an unboxing for that but as i kind of alluded to there is even more uh my friends at pokemon were super generous they sent me even more Chilling Rain stuff to check out, which is really cool. I'm I'm super excited for it. So, um, let me show you really fast. Yeah, here's what we're gonna crack open live today. So we're gonna do it a little differently this time, because you know we we have options now, which is really cool. I've done I think two live unboxings in the past over on uh, Twitch when I was still streaming over there. In fact, that was actually during the period where I, I was off of YouTube for a while. I thought I'd do that. So I've done a few before and they were really neat. Like it's very interactive. Uh, so yeah, but you know, this time it's like we get the best of both worlds, which is really cool. So before I open it, I, I really want to just take a moment and just express my gratitude to them for sending me these boxes and really try to sympathize. I know it is tough right now if you're trying to get the cards. I, I understand that. I don't want this to come across as, you know, me bragging or showing off my unboxings. I've been doing them for like almost 10 years now. I mean, this is, I didn't just hop on the train. I know a lot of creators are doing that nowadays and that's fine. It, it's a big hype. I know that's causing some of the problems, but again, I'm not going out there getting the stuff. I'm not going out to try to, you know, take it from you. This is, I'm sure they work this into their like promotional budget and stuff. They send it to me to check out. So, you know, I, I just really, I want you, the viewer, to understand, hey, you know, I want to just show you some cool stuff in a good time. I don't want it to be just like, oh, look at all this stuff I got. No, no, I'm super grateful. I really am. I, I can't express that enough, but I also do understand it's, it's tough. And I've seen some signs that it's getting better. I've seen, I've seen um, Shining Fates a lot more in stock lately. I've seen a bunch of people get that. So... Hopefully things are turning around. Hopefully. Again, I, I just had to get that out of the way because it's such a wild thing. Again, like I said, I'm, I'm super, super thankful. They they sent me not just one more, <laughs> but two extra that I could kind of do with as I saw fit to give back to the community. And, you know, maybe they thought, oh, a giveaway would be fine. And, you know, I did think about it, but... That's just not how I want to grow my channel. When I want to give back, it's really with content. It's really with stuff like that. I don't want it to just go to a bot or something. I know that's the unfortunate reality we live in. So hopefully this box and then the next one here will give you some good entertainment. So anyway, that being said, we're going to open this thing live. Oh, but before I do, I, I did put away my cards from the other day. I know some of you had asked in the past, how do you sort out your cards after you get them? And I, you know, I put them back into the booster box and then I just sorted them out and that was kind of cool. But I'll show you a little example here. See if I can 
do this. So like here's page one and it would have, you know, Weedle is number one, Kakuna number two, Beedrill doesn't exist. <laughs> totally doesn't. It's just Kakuna the strong. And, uh, you know, then I can go on to the next page. I'll see if I can do this. It's a little hard to see, but you, you can kind of get the idea. I sort them by numbers. I sort them like that. Uh, I put my reverse foils. Oops, they're over there. I put them on the other side too, which is kind of neat. So yeah, I was, I, I wanted to do that. I thought that'd be kind of a neat thing to, to have done. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and you know, I, I mentioned I, I didn't want to do like a giveaway of, of the physical boxes. That gets really wild with bots scraping them up and with international stuff. But, but I should have some TCG online codes to give out, which will be really cool. Like, I, I want to open up more of those. I've been having fun. I have, you know, the codes from these that'll be really neat. It sounded like they might even send some more my way, which is going to be fun. But, yeah, so that'll be really cool. Um, that's something I think would be wonderful to give away, because I think it really could go to someone tuning in live and having a good time. Okay, so, without further ado, let's see if I can get this, uh, <laughs> the new pack cam to work. Alright, so bear with me if, uh, if this is a little wild, we'll need to kinda, you know, just see how it goes. But yeah, we have the pack cam, which, you know, kinda the, the box <laughs> cam at the moment. It'll be nicer with packs. Let me actually open this up on uh, on the big one here. I think that'll just give me a little bit more space. Um, I had to keep my keyboard around this time. Usually I can clear my desk. I do that for, uh, for you know, the unboxings and stuff when I record there. Get to see my face? Yeah! That's been a nice touch on my newer box opening videos, actually. You know, ever since I did the, um, the live unboxings, it was it was really cool because it's like wait I can actually do this so it, it once I started bringing them back to YouTube it had me rethinking it so I just recorded both my face and the uh, the unboxing itself which is really cool so you do get the best of both worlds so yeah here we go there are indeed 36 booster packs in here this set launches on June 18th 2021. So a little bit under two weeks from now, there should be build and battle boxes, kind of like pre-release style ones you can get that have a few packs, so you, you could theoretically get it early. But yeah, I'm super excited for this. I mean, it's so wild. It's like, man, I was excited for the first one, and then it's like I have so many more. I'm going to have so many cards, but there are a lot of cards in the set. As I was putting them away... It's like, oh my gosh, there are so many in here. This is crazy. My water energy was like 231, I think. So that's uh, that's pretty wild. Okay, so let's do this. Yo, thank you so much, Atomachi Una, for the $2 super chat. I don't see the message in uh, chat just yet. Oh, there we go. Gotta head out. It's nap time for me. Best of luck. Hey, well, thank you so much for that. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I could go for a nap, too. I didn't get as much sleep last night as I would have liked. I was up a little, a little later last night. I was playing, <laughs> I've been playing Breath of the Wild again. I've just been having that be my, my go-to just chill game. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. So, hopefully this, this works out all right. I might have to turn off autofocus. I might need to adjust a few things here and there. I, I always test with like some random cards I have just kind of hanging out <laughs> near my desk. It's always good to have those, right? Okay, so. All right, see ya, Tobachivna. All right, here we go. So we've got Oregon. I'm looking for Weavile, by the way. I didn't get that last time, and that would have been really nice. Really nice. Heracross. Sobble. Yeah, I might want to adjust the uh, the focus here. In K. 
The only downside is then I can't like zoom in on the art. <laughs> I kind of have to lock the focus. I'm using a webcam. Usually I use my, uh, at least nowadays, reverse foil Melanie. Uh, nowadays I usually use my um, iPhone actually for recording. All right, Zangoose. That's my rare, I guess. Oh, you got Shiny Gibble from Pokemon Go. Nice. Yeah, I forgot that was going on today. Whoops, <laughs> my bad. Aaron's Conviction. Yeah, it's a little blurry with the autofocus. And then there's the code card there. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Let me see if I can fix that. Let's take... Uh, I guess we'll take these weeding gloves. All right. We'll do it live. So if I keep it around here, that should be good. Do, do, do. Okay, so... How's that look? Hopefully that's good. I just need to remember. <laughs> I can't zoom in as... I mean, you can kind of see it. It's just a little blurrier. Okay. That's fine, though. All right. Oh yeah, that's right. There's the wild area then. I don't really like those that much because I find if ever I go for it, A, I can't find the thing, and then B, it breaks out anyway. <laughs> so it's like, oh man, it's a bummer. I gotta figure out where to put my cards. Again, having my keyboard here and mouse in the area is a little, a little, uh, well, less than ideal for it. It's not how I usually do it, but that's fine. That's fine. How does this look, by the way? Is this a little bit uh, crisper? I mean, I'm looking at it like from a preview, but it should be good. I can always adjust the focus a little bit further. Ooh, reverse foil spiral energy. I don't remember if that's the one I have or not. Yeah, yeah, Palitoad is the Sword and Shield event. The wild area one. I just always hate those because... <laughs> I never get them. They always, like, break out. It's like I want to catch it in a fancy ball and not just a master ball. Now, I also... I've gotten a lot of these cards before. Usually, I do like to read through things, but I haven't seen anything new yet. So, um... Oh, wait. Was there the Grookey in here? I, I just have to share this. I, I love this art. This is so cute. I love that Grookey. Your phone is causing it to re be really blurry. I can fix that. It might be your phone, too. You have to make sure the uh, the bitrate settings or the quality settings, like, they try to make it 480p, and they, they hit it under, like, you go to the gear on YouTube, and then you do, um, oh, what is it? Like, quality, and then you have to hit advanced options, because even if you hit, you know good quality or high quality it's like oh yeah you know 480p that's great quality but it also might just be on my end too i just i know that's a problem nowadays with uh youtube i love that deli bird it's so cute like it's not great but it's cute hilarian far-fetched reverse foil avery that's kind of neat now that could be an interesting card. That could also be really interesting if you combo that with, uh, there's an Echo Flute in here. That was neat. Ooh, I haven't seen this before. Inteleon. I'm trying to figure out where the heck it is. Yeah, its face is right there. It took me a moment. It's like, wait, what? Okay, oh, wow, that's really cool. Quick shooting. Once during your turn, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon, and that can even be done from the bench. That's really cool. And then Waterfall is kind of underwhelming, but it's not bad. Two for 70. But the fact you can have a bunch of these in Teleon, that is awesome. Because an ability doesn't end your turn, generally speaking. So, that's really cool. That is really cool. Yeah, I like this thing. I don't have this, so I'm going to set it aside. I'll put it in my binder. Agatha. Scroll of the Skies. Was your phone? Okay. Yeah, if, if ever that happens, 
uh, it's it's one of those things that YouTube changed recently, and they just they make it really, really confusing to set the quality. Um, I'm gonna put this on the finder itself. I'll know to put it away later. Just cool. All right. How's it going, everyone? Hopefully you're ready for a nice, relaxing time. We're just starting here. We're just a few packs in. We haven't gotten anything super rare just yet, but I did get an Inteleon, which I didn't have. This Lapras is pretty cool with uh, Melanie. Blitzel. Aron. I love that Deerling. It's also very cute. Deli Bird. Reverse Foil Kaboo. And, oh, Tapu Fini. Yeah, I got one of these. Actually, I think I got two of them. I think I got the normal and the reverse foil. But they're still pretty neat. I don't think it's that great, though, but it's there. It's Lapras of Water and Ice type. So they only have a limited selection of types in the Pokemon trading card game. Some of them overlap with other types, so... For instance, Bug, right now, that's also represented by Grass, so you'll see Ledian is part Grass. And then Poison is represented by Dark, Fairy is represented by Psychic. So even though in the video game, a Pokemon like Lapras might be Water and Ice type, in the card game, it has to only be one type. There was a period where there were, like, multi-type cards, but generally speaking, they're one type. And, uh they combine a lot of types. So, like, you can see this is a Psychic Swirlix. Oh, yeah, there's that Sneasel. Uh, yeah, I mean, I started my website, DJ Riolu, back in 2000 as Maryland. So, that was a long time. What's represented with Steel? Steel has its own type in the card game. It has ever since Neo Genesis. First of all, Crabrawler, that's kind of neat. Normal Malamar. Notice Lyperd is weak to grass. It's so weird. Someone pointed it out uh, that Lyperd was... Or actually, they didn't point out Lyperd is weak to grass. I did that. But Galarian Weezing was not. It was weak to fighting, which makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> I love that Raboot. It just looks cool. Oh, yeah. Seal is called Metal in the card game. And Electric is called Lightning. And... Dark is called Darkness. So, like, kind of minor. Usually if you say one, that's fine. Everyone knows what you mean. But if you hear me say, you know, a lightning energy, I'm not, you know, mispronouncing it or I'm not being silly. It actually is that. Uh, Atena. See, Atena's a good fit for that because it can be... Well, I guess Atena is, what, just pure psychic? But when it evolves, it's... Psychic Fairy. Oh yeah, Normal is Colorless. That's the other one. I forgot about that. Ooh, Reverse Foil. Sobble. Weezing is weak to fighting. Represents Poison's weakness in ground. Oh yeah, that's right. That makes sense. Ooh, cool. I already have this Metagross though, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty neat. It could be cool. Bullet Punch is really nice and fast. I mean, with Rapid Strike, that could be good. Synchro Hammer can do a lot if you and, uh, or if this Pokemon and the opponent's active Pokemon have the same amount of energy attached. It'll do 150 for two instead, so that's kind of cool. That's a cool card. Again, I already have it, so that's a little bit of a shame. Repeat? Yeah. Well, it's a separate box, so that is more likely to happen. A little bit more. I need to get more penny sleeves. Those are my favorite for putting stuff away because they're not very, uh, they don't have a lot of grip. Like, my worst thing, I hate touching the edges of the cards. Like, I try to do that as little as possible. And I find sometimes tighter sleeves like this, it, uh, I don't know. Sometimes it can get in the way. All right. Well, cool, we got the first card. I feel like that was the first one I pulled in the last box, too. 
I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, I'm aware of that, DJ Really, I've been playing the video games since uh, Pokemon Red and Blue were released in the US. One wild thing, though, is they have changed abilities in the card game a lot. At first, they were called Pokemon Powers, and uh, they usually couldn't be used, I think, when they were affected by a special condition, which is wild. Like, that's not so much a thing nowadays. First foil Venipede. Oh, that looks cool. And then, um... Oh, man, what, what was the other thing? So after that, I think in the Gen 3 era of the card game, they introduced Poke Powers and Poke Bodies. So not fully abilities, but they did change it. So Poke Bodies were something that was like a, a constantly active effect, like a passive effect, whereas Poke, Poke Powers were something that you needed to activate. And I think even back then, generally you couldn't use Poke Powers if you were affected by a special condition, whereas you could with Poke Bodies. And then, I don't remember when it was, I think Gen 5? They just said, all right, we're just calling it abilities and, you know, it's just assume that you can use it all the time unless it says otherwise. Just kind of a little history lesson. I like these cast form, by the way. That weather reading, all of them have that and it's a really neat effect. Let me see if I can adjust this a little bit more. I, I feel like it could be a little bit sharper because this is right around where I keep it. Let's see if I can do this. Does that look a little bit better? Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. How's it going, Watson? All right, let's see. Yeah, here's another one of those cast arms. So like, if you have eight or more stadium cards in your discard pile, you ignore all energy in this Pokemon's attack cost, which is really cool. So it can do a lot of damage. They all have, like, free retreat, it seems. And their attacks are pretty good, so... I kind of want to make a deck with that. <laughs> it just seems neat. Oh, Steeny. Ooh, I haven't seen this before. Zarude. Hat Call. Search your deck for a grass Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. If you go second and it's your first turn, search for up to three grass Pokemon instead of one. Wow, that's kind of wild. Huh. So you can get a whole bunch of things there. And then Repeated Whip does 60 damage plus 20 more for each grass energy attached to this Pokemon. It's not too shabby. It has 130 HP. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. I also don't have this. So that's great. Oh yeah, big science. Remember when supporters could be used in the first turn and attack? They've changed that so many times over the years that it's hard for me to remember, you know, in which era you can use supporters or attack on the first turn or whatever. Like, they change it so much over time. So I often get confused, because it's been a while since I've really, like, played, played. I used to play a lot in, like, the early 2010s, and particularly the 2000s. Like, Ruby Sapphire era, for sure. Oh, that's kind of more when I was out of it. I still collected a lot. Yeah, they do change that every so often. Thankfully, usually it's only every generation that they do. Ooh, Reverse Foil Peony, that's cool. Saw's Buck! You have a stadium and play does 80 more damage. That's kind of good. I mean, I don't think it's worth, like, running in a competitive deck. A lot of the things that I, I look at for cards, it's not so much like top tier competitive decks it's more of like hey this could be cool in like a casual deck i know you have to play like 
very specific kind of things. I mean, they've gotten a lot better than when I played, but, um, you know, it's oftentimes you have to run like very specific things. But I always try to like look at things from a not competitive point of view, but like a semi-casual point of view. So, you know, like if you're playing with some buddies or you're like, oh, I want to try out some, some cards, you know? Kind of neat. How long have I been collecting Pokemon cards? Uh, since 99. Long time. First foil Swirlix, that's neat. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, that's cool. I have the, uh, the full art version of this, but I don't have this one. The Ice Rider Calyrex V. Well, that's actually great if ever I wanted to build a deck with it. I was looking at it though, and it didn't seem that great, the VMAX. Like, it looks very pretty. I mean, I guess the VMAX would do a little bit more, but... Well, that's still cool to see. It's kind of one of those that I, I sort of have, <laughs> but I don't. It's not a repeat. So, that's cool. Yeah, very neat. All right, let me get this in a sleeve. My last penny sleeve, what will I do? I'm sure I have some around. I just like new ones. I think that's really important. But I can put stuff in these. They're just a little tighter. Or in the blue ones I showed you earlier. No, the whole, like, going first versus going second, it's trying to find a good balance. That's what it boils down to. And, you know, previously when you could just do everything on the first turn, um, it's just, I don't know. Ooh, I love the art on that. That looks really cool. I have a normal foil version of that, and it looks neat. Spiritomb's wild. Yeah, this one's really wild if you pull that out like late game. I think it could be wild because what it does is it uh, for one colorless energy, so one of anything, for each Pokemon in your opponent's discard pile, put one damage counter on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. But if you place any damage counters in this way, your opponent shuffles all Pokemon from their discard pile into their deck. So like theoretically, if you drop this at the very end of the game when you need like two prize cards, you might be able to do this and then put like five or six or maybe even more damage counters on like a Pokemon V or something and claim several prize cards at once. Yeah, I remember that Sableye deck. That thing was just devastating. I think they had to errata it on the spot, which means they had to like implement a rule specifically for that because it was just too powerful. And it truly was. I don't think that is specifically what caused them to change whether you go first or second, but they just wanted to find a good balance because if you go first and you can do everything, like I was saying a moment ago, if you go first and you can do everything, then whoever's going second is playing in an advantage or a disadvantage. And that's not cool. Cause you know, if you can find a good balance then, like still I think you're better off going first because you get that extra energy attached and you can still get some stuff going, but it's not as imbalanced as it was. Yeah, look at this thing. High pressure blast, discard a stadium in play if you can't, this attack does nothing. So that's a little bit of a pain, but it's a lot of damage. Problem is they don't have very much uh, HP, which is a bit of a shame. Ooh, reverse foil doctor, that's kind of cool. Oh, Cacleon, I don't have the normal version of this here, so. Uh, Chroma Shift. This Pokemon is the same type as any basic energy attached to it. Yeah, that's really wild. So this thing could be all sorts of different types. It's actually a pretty good Kecleon, because, I mean, it could hit all sorts of weaknesses. Anything good thus far? I pulled a Metagross V and an Ice Rider Calyrex V. Neither full art. I'll show you in a moment here. So I don't have that Kecleon. Well, the normal art version of it. So that's good. I'm glad I put away my cards the other night. 
What kind of water type is quillfish? It's water poison in the game, so it was represented as dark in... Uh, oh, I was going to show the cards. Here's what I have so far. Got Metagross V. I didn't have the Inteleon, so got that. I didn't have Zerud. And I didn't have Ice Rider, Calyrex V, at least the normal art version of it. Hey, how's it going, Johan? Johan or Johan? Okay. Well, either way, hello. Need to organize your cards? Yeah, I need to still finish. I've done a lot over the past, I don't know, a few months, but I still have a long way to go. But I picked up like 10 binders way back. Way back, because I wanted to eventually sort everything out. Former. All right. Keep that in mind. How's it going, Neomanist? Reverse Foil Saw's Bug. That's neat. Ooh, Rillaboom. Hey, that's another thing I didn't have. Cool. So 180 HP, Wood Drain, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon, and then Raging Repeated Strike, discard any amount of energy from your Pokemon. It doesn't have to be Rillaboom. It can be anything. And it does 30 more for each card you discard in this way. So that's kind of nice. That could, uh... That could do a lot of damage. Huh. Well, that's really great. I didn't have that thing. I feel like there's better Rillaboom, though. But there's, um... I think there's one that makes it so your your energy does more. You get energy out fast. I don't remember what it is, but... I know that that would probably combo pretty well with it. The only thing is... It's, um... It's for each card you discarded, not each energy. I know some things are like, let's say, well, there's a Galarian Weezing in this that each of your dark energy attached to Weezing, any Weezing, like Galarian or otherwise, it counts as two. But, you know, in that case, it's still, I don't know. I, just, I wish I could remember what the Rillaboom, there've been so many Rillaboom and they've been really good too from previous sets. I remember, I think it's the Rillaboom V that, like, lets you search your deck for some some grass energy right away. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I'll look it up sometime. But that would combo well with that. <laughs> so many Rillaboom. There really are a lot. I like the Cinderace. That thing was really good. I also like this thing. This thing's great. Your rapid strike Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's bench Pokemon V and bench Pokemon GX. That's so good. Like, that's really handy for rapid strike Pokemon. And you have Pokemon code card. I'm not giving any away today because these code cards won't even work until um, the set actually launches on June 18th. But I'm planning on doing some uh, some TCG Online code card giveaways towards the end of the, the month. So definitely check that out if you're at all interested. Um, definitely check that out. We'll do that sometime. All right, let's see. <laughs> Yeah, that thing's pretty good. All right. <laughs> I love that Grookey art. It's just so adorable. I love the Flaffy, too. I'm surprised I haven't seen one yet. I think it's an uncommon. Reverse Foil Clara. Kind of alright. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, there we go. The other side of Calyrex. Shadow Rider Calyrex V. So that's 210 HP, Psychic type. Shadow Mist. During your opponent's next turn, they can't play any special energy or stadium cards from their hand. That could be kind of powerful. And then Astral Barrage. 
Choose two of your opponent's Pokemon and put five damage counters on each of them. That's pretty cool. I always like doing bench damage and stuff, so that's pretty handy. I wonder what the VMAX does. Ooh, that was a cool card to get. I haven't gotten that yet. I've got a lot of the Ice Rider one. If uh, if you played the expansion in the Crown Tundra, you had to pick between Ice Rider and Shadow Rider. Which was the, the one that you picked if you only have one version? Or if you have two versions or if you've done multiple playthroughs, which is the one that you got first? Because I think I got, uh, I think I got Glastrier first. I think. I'm trying to remember. I did them both kind of like at the same time. Actually, maybe I didn't get the second one yet. I think I might have traded for it. Or maybe I don't even have it. I know I got Glastrier though. I love that score, buddy, too. Just try to push that, uh, that snowball. Oh, I want to find that Weavile. There's got to be a Weavile in here. Oh, there we go. A reverse oil of that score, buddy. Nice. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ooh! Metagross, or Metagross VMAX. 330 HP, Rapid Strike. Oh, that thing is cool. Zap Traction. Wow, that's great. Search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand. It can be anything. Then shuffle your deck. That's really handy. The downside is it takes your turn, but it's only one energy, so I mean, you know. And then Max Rush. During your next turn, this Pokemon's Max Rush attack does 150 more damage. Whoa, that is really powerful. So you'll start doing 100 and then it's 250 every turn after that. Now it doesn't keep adding on top of it. So it's not like it'd do 250 and then in the next turn it'd do like 400. It doesn't work that way, but it would keep doing the 100 plus the 150. This thing's great. And that, uh, that Metagross, even the normal one is pretty good too. That's a good card to get. I'm glad I got that. Very cool. All right, let's see. Let's get that in a sleeve. I want to take a look at the uh, the other one really fast because the uh, V Max Pokemon they're kind of like you know evolutions in a in a sense where you'd have to. Um, well, I mean, I guess it says evolves from Metagross V. So yeah, here are these two. So this is what the original does. Oh yeah, the Synchro Hammer. So the nice thing about this is it's not going to require any more than two energy. That's really nice. I mean, you know, you, you put two on it and then it's just going to put so much pressure on your opponent. With Max Rush, if, if they keep doing that. Now the downside is if this thing ever goes to the bench... Like, then it has to, like, it, it loses that bonus damage, but that's still pretty cool. Thoughts on Dragon types returning to the TCG? I don't know. I, I always thought Dragon types were cool, and it was kind of a shame to see them, like, leave, and now they're coming back, and it's like they already got rid of Fairy, so it's like, I don't know. I feel like they've returned so many times. I know at least twice. Okay. Here we go. Wait, did I? Hold on, I think I took it from the wrong side. I'm very particular. I like to make sure I open them equally. So one, two, three. Or not equally, but like I, I always open one side first. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I did. They had a, I had a sense for it. I wasn't paying attention. I just kind of reached over there yeah chrism uh these codes they won't work right now the set isn't actually released so there's really no point in showing them but probably later this month i'll do a live stream where i'll give away some i actually got a bunch of tcg online codes that i want to give away i got them from my friends at pokemon who they sent me this stuff by the way as well full disclosure so uh i have some codes that will give full booster boxes of 
Um, I think I have Vivid Voltage, Shining Fates, I think Battle Styles. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check later in the month for one of those live streams. But otherwise, showing the code doesn't really do any good right now. But that'll be cool. I know a lot of people have been enjoying just the, the chill TCG Online box openings I've been doing in the past few streams. Getting people kind of going on that. All right, so we have Galarian Farfetch'd, Furfru, Venipede, Sfeel, for Brawler, Reverse Foil Cast Form. Ooh, man, good first half of a box. Oh, that looks awesome. Look at that. Blaziken V. Oh, that looks cool. So high jump kick, two for 50, and then fire spin, four for 210, but you have to discard two energy from this Pokemon. If there's a way to get it back, that could be pretty cool. That's really neat, I didn't have that, so that's awesome. It's kind of basic. Like it's just about doing damage, essentially. <laughs> that's cool, I wish it would cost one energy less for the, uh, for its big attack. There we go. Well, I did get quite a few cards I haven't gotten yet from the previous box, so that's cool. The rainbow rares look really nice, yeah. I'm trying to think. I don't know if I got one in the last box. I got the secret rare Ice Rider Calyrex, which is really cool. And I got the Golden Water Energy. Yeah, this is nice. I like that rainfall. Like, you could even use that without needing the, uh, the ability to be active. Oh, there we go. There's that Energy Factory. Pretty cool. Oh, seeing double again. I had that happen with a uh, normal wheezing in the last box where I got the same rare as I did the reverse foil. It's so funny. Yeah, there's that echoing horn. Seabold? Earlier. All right, so first half of the box is down. Let's see what we get in the second half. Oh yeah. Are y'all having a good time? Are you having fun? Hopefully it's a nice relaxing way to spend your afternoon or evening or whatever time it is for you. For me personally, it's, what time is it? 3.43 PM. I haven't gotten a Kakuna or Flaffy yet. Yeah, that's weird. I'm sad, I haven't seen Flaffy. Yeah, it's kind of nice and relaxing just opening it live. I do like, oh, that's, that's weird. That's a second reverse foil of the same thing. Usually, usually in booster boxes, you don't get the same, like you get unique reverse foils, which is kind of nice because booster boxes are kind of like big booster packs. So that's why it's kind of strange to see two of the same reverse foil I'm sure I got this just a moment ago, right? Huh, weird. Ooh, that's cool. I know I have that. I don't remember if it's normal or reverse foil, though. But either way, it's pretty cool. That's a strong attack, that second attack. Fists of Strife does 100 damage, and if it has any damage counters on it, it does 100 more. So that's 200 for three energy on just a single you know, one-stage evolution. That's also single strike, so it benefits from a lot of cool effects. <laughs> Crushing gloves. All these gloves are really wild. Yeah, that's usually how it is with booster boxes. Which is very convenient if you're trying to collect reverse foils. 
Like, I don't think it's necessarily perfect, but I've <laughs> I've opened a lot of booster boxes, and as I put the cards away, almost never do I have a duplicate foil. But if you eat, or <laughs> you eat, wow, I'm reading chat. If you uh, open up a lot of, like, loose packs, the odds of you getting duplicates seem higher. I think they have something in place to help with that. Oh boy, this looks fancy. This looks fancy. Oh, look at that. Wow, there's one of those rainbow rares. Rainbow rare Clara. Oh, wow. That is a pretty card. Yeah, I I really shouldn't eat cards. That That's not a good idea. I don't recommend that to anyone. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, man. Let me get a sleeve on that. Cool. So that is one of the secret rares. There are a lot of them. But yeah, that's one of the rainbow rares, too. There we go. Oh, yeah, I love it. Very neat. Okay. Eating cardboard is bad. Yeah. Well, that was cool. Really cool to see. I love that Galarian Slowpoke. I know we've seen a lot of them, but still. I want to see the Flappy, though. Ooh, it's the Viper. I didn't have a normal foil version of this, so that's nice. Yeah, it's kind of cool. If you played a single strike supporter card from your hand during this turn, it does 90 more damage, so that's kind of neat. <laughs> that Hadram is adorable. Did you miss any pulls? If you just tuned in, I did just a moment ago in the previous pack, I pulled a... Uh, Rainbow Rare Clara. Here are some of the things that I pulled that I didn't have. Ice Rider Calyrex. There's also a Metagross Fee. I did have that before. Shadow Rider. This is cool. Got the Blaze again, and we just pulled this. No Survivor is a poison type Pokemon. Yeah, but in the Pokemon trading card game, it is a dark type Pokemon because poison is dark. There is no poison type card. All right, let's see. Swirlix, Sneasel, Snover. A poor Blitzel. Like, you gotta wonder how it got out there, huh? Coughing. Wall rain. Yeah, that's the thing that has an instant paralyze or a guaranteed paralyze. You just have to discard energy on it. Aw, there's the Flappy. I love it. It's so cute. It's adorable. I love, I love Flappy. I love Flappy. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's just so cute. <laughs> I got it reverse foil. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Ooh, I didn't have this yet either. Rapid Strike Urshifu. Slashing Claw. For one for 40, so that's nice. Ooh, Rapid Fisted Rush. 
This attack does 30 damage for each of your Rapid Strike Pokemon in play, so that could do a lot of damage. It'll do 30 no matter what, thanks to Rapid Strike Urshifu here, but if you had a full bench full of Rapid Strike, that's going to be doing, what, 180 or 2 energy? Plus whatever Rapid Strike effects? That's really nice. That's really nice. I didn't have this, so let me put this away. Can I do, or can I give away code card, please? So I will do a, uh, I'll probably give some away for the online later this month. These codes won't even work until June 18th when the set actually launches, because I'm opening this early, which is really cool. Again, thanks to, oh, there's Kakuna. There it is. Huge thanks to Pokemon for sending me the, uh, the boxes for this. But yeah, um... It's good to see interest in that. Like, I've had some that I've, I've been waiting to give away until people are kind of excited. So I think we'll probably do that towards the end of the month, after the set is out, after more people have a chance to kind of be like, oh, yeah, trading card online, I should do that. Because I'll open up some, uh, some cards online as well, so that's pretty cool. In rotation, we have a stadium that gives you more bench space. Is, is there one currently? I know, um... Uh, there used to be one. I don't remember what it was. It was like giant tree or something like that. Giant stump, maybe? I don't know. There, there was something. Actually, I think giant stump prevented you from having a lot of them. Ooh, reverse oil galley. That's cool. But we can redeem it early. Well, I don't think it will work. I don't know if you can redeem it early. But whatever the case, I'm not giving them away today. Oh, scallopy. That's cool. Ooh, if your opponent's active Pokemon is poison, this attack does 120 more damage. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of damage. And, I mean, you, you can use Poison Sting on it. Am I going to build a Pokemon deck soon? Probably not too soon, but I would like to work on that. Wait, did it? Aw. <laughs> if I had three gloves, that would have been really funny. I would, uh... I would like to... Get a deck going at some point. I think that'd be fun for a summer project. And I don't know if I do it like a physical deck or uh, TCG online. Or both. I mean, that'd be really cool. I think I just have to wait until I'm fully done on Twitch before I can actually play TCG online. Ooh, Reverse Foil Sarina, nice. Ooh, what is this? Oh, look at that! Nice! Galarian Zapdos V. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. Okay, so this Pokemon's attacks cost one colorless less for each of your opponent's Pokemon V in play. Oh, wow. So if they have a lot of Pokemon V, you could get that Thunderous Kick doing a lot of damage for one energy. If they have three Pokemon V, which isn't that uncommon. Wow, that that's really nice. The problem is if they're not playing a lot of them, that could be a big pain trying to get four energy. Although, to be fair, four energy for 170 that also discards a special energy. Like, that's not bad even just on its own. It's kind of expensive, but it's not bad. But that could be really good. Ooh, that's a good card. I really like that thing. I really like it. I feel like that would be a good kind of card to put in your deck. Like, you wouldn't play a deck just based around that, but have it kind of come out there later on. I think that'd be pretty pretty powerful. Pretty cool. Like, catch your opponent off guard and just run through all of their, all their Pokemon that they're setting up. All right, let's see. Ooh, I haven't seen the Obstagoon VMAX. Wait, is there an Obstagoon VMAX? I'm not familiar with it. I don't think I've seen it. Yeah, Mad Party. It wouldn't do too well against that. I'm sure there are some decks that don't do that. Is this set going to come with theme decks for beginners? You know, I haven't heard about any theme decks for it. 
They've been absent for a little while now. First soil impact energy, that's kind of cool. Gallade. Yeah, they didn't have any for battle styles either. I always used to write off the uh, the theme decks, but I've actually grown to like them. They're really a nice way to get started on the Pokemon trading card game. Like, if you get two of them and, you know, you and a buddy can just play. What I always recommend if you do that, like, if you're just super new and you want to learn how to play, just ignore weaknesses and resistances if you're just fighting with uh, with theme decks. Um just because that, that helps keep it fair. <laughs> um, but, you know, obviously you can't do that if you're, like, going to a tournament or something. But, yeah, they're they're nice. They're nice. I've actually I've enjoyed them. And surprisingly, people, they enjoy the videos I make for theme decks. Like, I never really thought that they were as worth it so to speak like you know it takes some time and trying to explain it especially if it's something that you know most competitive players really don't care that much about because you know they're not like tournament winning decks by any means they're starting points um but people they're actually really nice for starting out they're really cool the latest decks that just came out were victini v and gardevoir v oh that's kind of handy well, the battle decks sound like a better option than Seabold, and it looked like it was the same thing for a moment there. Well, I guess look into those battle decks then. That'd probably be a good way to get started. I guess that makes sense. Rather than having a theme deck for a set, just make battle decks that have something kind of interesting in them, like a Pokemon V. Because usually you don't have Pokemon V inside of the... Um, the the decks the theme decks they're kind of watered down a little bit which is fine but you know it's obviously nice to get a good thing ready to go that was the best card i've gotten so far and how did i get chilling rain so early so the best card I got so far was a water energy. <laughs> I'm actually not kidding. It's There's a golden water energy I got in a previous box. But as for your second question, that is a great question. So my friends at Pokemon, they reached out to me and they had some chilling rain. They've worked with me in the past to hook me up with early, uh, early boxes and elite trainer boxes and stuff to kind of show it off in videos and and get people excited for it and you know they I guess they they like the stuff I've done for it because they sent me a lot this time around it's crazy so hopefully I'm doing a good job at representing the cards and getting people excited and again I know it's really hard to get the cards right now I'm not trying to have it be like a showing off thing but for a Pokemon fan like me like I've been a fan since 98. I mean, the very beginning. I've been collecting cards since the very beginning. And I've even been doing unboxes for, for unboxings for like a decade now. And, you know, it's it's really cool to kind of work with a company like that. Like the one that is so, you know, integral to, you know, my website, my YouTube channel. Like it's perfect. It's a really good match. So I'm super thankful for them. But yeah, that's that's how I have so much of this so early. Uh, which is really cool. How you do you, bro? Congrats on getting noticed by corporate and getting them freebies. Yeah. No, it's it's really nice. Like, I love it. I think it's great. And, like, this time around, too. Ooh, look at this greeting. They sent me three boxes of the set. Like, really early. I actually had it out. I had it back uh, last month. I'm like, whoa, I, I couldn't even do anything with it right that soon. So that was wild. It was just taunting me. But yeah, it's it feels really great to to have a good relationship with them. And that's why I always try to do my best to, you know, really represent their product well. I mean, you know, I I love it. It's great. I mean, you know, technically this is kind of a sponsored stream, air quotes. I don't receive money for this or anything, but they give me the product, which is cool. But like what a perfect match. I mean, of any like sponsored stream, it's not like it's 
you know, something totally out there that's like, oh, yeah, you know, just doing that to make money, which, you know, that's important for creators. I get that. I'm not trying to slam on that, but it's like, it's such a good fit. That's why it's so cool, because I know it's stuff a lot of you are really interested in and really like to see, which is great. So, yeah. Hey, how's it going? Felix from Russia. Nice. Stop collecting cards since no one in my neighborhood plays TCG. Oh, no. I play the online card game. I don't play it, but I've been getting into it, like, trying to build up my collection. I've been opening up some of the card packs online and uh, doing that. So maybe, uh, maybe later this summer I'll start to actually get, like, a deck together or something. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, wait a second. <laughs> she looks less fancy. Wait. <laughs> this is the non-Rainbow Rare full art of Kalara. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, man. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. I think I have a reverse foil of her as well, so I think I have all of the Kalara, unless there's a golden rare of her. <laughs> Oh, man, that's funny, though. That is funny. Well, I mean, I didn't have it, so that's good. Not a bad card, too. Like, choose one or both. Put up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. And put up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Like, that's nice. That's versatile. Let me get the uh, other one, just for... Comparison. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Hey, how's it going, Victini? All right, got a few packs left. Been pretty satisfied with the pulls, though. If I get another golden water energy, though, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. It's going to be a uh, sign that I need to make a water deck, though. But that will be... It'll be sad. All right. Let's see. Can't believe I got the normal Clara Full Art and the Rainbow Rare one. Zangus. And that's so wild. Oh! Any pack with that Flaffy in it is... It's a winning pack. Alright. I do make those rules. Those, those are 100% my rules. <laughs> and they are very true. <laughs> they are very true. Alright, we've got... Snover. Blitzel, Ghastly, Offing, Deli Bird, Furfru, First of all, Furfru, Hilarion Weezing, nice. Dark Energy or Darkness, Atram, Lyron, Steeny. Nice. Use the water energy with the VMAX Urshifu? Yeah! I could. What if any pack had a Baneri in it too? Oh, that'd be wonderful. Too bad there's not Baneri in this set, as far as I know. But I do like Baneri a lot as well. But I mean... I like Flaffy a lot, but that art is just adorable on it. Like, it's so cute. It's one of my favorite, like, pieces of art in the card game now. Ooh, this is nice. I like this. This is really cool. Go Lurk. That's a strong thing. Yeah, that Galarian chest plate would be really good on the uh, Galarian Farfetch'd. Or not Galarian Farfetch'd, the uh, Surfetch'd. Which I think in the card game is called Galarian Surfetch'd. 
Just because it uh, gets any benefits from cards that affect Galarian Pokemon. Same with like Berserker. Ghastly. Ladiba. Porygon. Swirlix. Sneasel. Marion Yam Mask. Oh, there is a Beedrill. Look at that. Whoa, what the heck? Persist Sting. If your opponent's active Pokemon has any special energy attached, it is knocked out. Wow, that could instantly knock out a Pokemon V or V Max for one energy? And then Jet Spear, discard an energy from this Pokemon, which that's not that bad, but wow, discard, uh, it does 110 for one. Oh man, that thing is strong. That thing is strong. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, I don't usually do uh, shout outs, Tommy, but I'm glad that Cody's tuning in, hopefully. Yeah, that Beedrill's insane. That is such a punishing effect, that first attack, because special energies are extremely common. Like, you know, everyone uses those, I'd say. I also didn't have that Beedrill, so that's nice. But I mean, that is just insane. Like, it's not even about the damage. It just straight up removes it from the game. It's like two or three prize cards. Weavile's also rare, to be fair. I mean, I should find that thing. I'm now like two boxes and I haven't seen it. So it's like really rare, I guess. That's weird. I've never, I've never struggled with getting a rare card. Abominable. Scallopede. I just want to see that Weavile. Oh, man. This is really cool, though. This thing on the Kakuna. I really want to do that just because that'd be silly. I think the Beedrill is still... Yeah, it's still single strike, too. So, like, it could potentially do even more damage. All right, two packs left, everyone. Oh, man. Two packs left. Let's see what we get. I want that Weavile. Spiel. Atena. Rockruff. Shuppet. Cast form. Ooh, I don't have this yet either. Galarian Slow King, Mysterious Potion. Once during your turn, you may choose one of your Pokemon and flip a coin. If heads, heal 90 damage from that Pokemon. If tails, put three damage counters on your Pokemon, or on that Pokemon. Oh man, that's such a risk. Oh geez. I don't know if I like it. I mean, I guess it would average out you could have a few of these and gradually heal them. Like, healing 90 is very strong, but it's just not reliable. Agron. Darkness energy. Honey. And Drizzile. And Seabold. Well, I didn't have the Galarian Slowking, so that's good. Alright, final pack, everyone. Oh, man. Here it is. Let's see what I get. I want Weavile. It's gotta be in this set. They wouldn't just throw a Sneasel in there. They wouldn't just throw it in. Right? All right, Delibird. Galarian Farfetch'd. Oregon. I was looking through some of my old cards and I found the there was a Weavile, like Cyrus's Weavile. Like I don't think it was technically Cyrus's Weavile, like in the name, but oh that's cool. I didn't have this either. Porygon Z. Bug transmission. Whenever you attach an energy card from your hand to this Pokemon during your turn, you may make your opponent's active Pokemon confused. Oh, that's kinda handy. And then discard two energy from this Pokemon. For 170, 
So that's pretty expensive. But, you know. And not Weavile. Oh, no! Oh, well. Sarina. Fighting energy. Abominable. Single strike. Scroll of piercing and Melanie. Cool. Well, I didn't get the card that I wanted. I was determined to get that thing. Apparently it's just a rare too, so I'm surprised I didn't get it. But that happens. So here is a, uh, a look at the cards that I did get that I didn't have previously. So I didn't have this normal Kecleon. I had a reverse foil of it. I did get the Inteleon, Tommy, right here. That thing is really cool. Uh, I got Zarud. Got the Ice Rider Calyrex V, the normal one. Got the Rillaboom. Shadow Rider Calyrex V. This thing's cool, Metagross V Max. That thing seems pretty strong. I did get a normal Metagross as well. It's not in my new pile though. Blaziken V. <laughs> Survivor, I, I know, it's not that exciting, but I didn't have the uh, the normal version of it. Uh, Rapid Strike Urshifu. Galarian Zapdos V, this is a cool one. This is cool. So I need to get the Galarian Moltres. I got Rainbow Clara along with normal. <laughs> Full art, Clara. That's just funny. That's that's really funny. And then this bee drill. This thing is so strong. That persist sting is just ridiculous. Like if you play special energies and you see a Weedle on your opponent's bench, you better just chill a little bit. Very cool. Yeah, and then I also got. Also got that. Yeah. So that's what I pulled. Very cool. Uh, let me get back to the full layout. Hey, <laughs> how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Uh, yeah, so anyway, that is the booster box. Again, huge thanks to Pokemon for sending me that. And, you know, one more that we still have to open up another time which is just insane that's so cool like it's, it's been a lot of fun so that kind of introduces the next question which is how do you want the next the final box to be opened up do you want it to be live do you want it to be like uh the other style so it's you know more just produced you can just consume it in your own time um, you know, what I'm probably gonna do, you don't need to answer it here, just kind of think about it, and probably in a, a few days, I'll have a poll up on my community tab, and I'll get y'all to vote and see which you like the best, because we still have, believe it or not, believe it or not, we still have one more to open up, that's crazy. And it was good to see some people interested in some uh, some TCG Online code cards. So again, what I'm thinking of doing is doing like a stream and unboxing some cards because I still have plenty later on in the month. So giving people a chance to, you know, kind of get an account set up if you haven't already or maybe get back into it if, you know, you're like me where you've been collecting and, you know, just passively and... You haven't actually redeemed the cards. If you have like a webcam, you can scan them pretty fast, which is cool. But the the Pokemon Company International did send me quite a bunch of TCG Online code cards that you know I've been using to have some cool stuff on my weekly streams. But also, I wanted to give some away. I did a test, and I don't think people were quite into it just yet. Like it was my first kind of TCG Online. Um, you know, debut, if you will. So people weren't like uh, as knowledgeable or like, oh, you know, I don't know about this. But I think people are kind of getting the hang of it now, which is cool. So that's something that was nice to see today, people interested in that. So again, if, if you're interested in some TCG Online codes, uh, I should have some from this set as well. 
We'll see what I can do, but I'm planning that towards the end of the month, doing something along those lines, having a nice little like celebration and giving away some code cards for boxes worth of untradeable boxes, which are neat, really cool promo things that they send. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how that goes, but that'll be later in the month. So again, if, if you do play TCGO, yeah, I, I didn't show you any of the code cards from here, but that's because we're going to do that later on. I think having it kind of all in one thing will, will be a better way to do it. So yeah, but anyway, I think that about covers it for today. So, um, we still have one more to do it another time. We'll probably probably wait like a week or so and another option too is you know maybe open it up like a few packs at a time we don't need to do it all at once we can maybe do like you know 12 here 12 there 12 another time like although i don't know there's something about opening a whole box so we'll see we'll see but anyway what i hope is i hope you enjoyed this nice little relaxing time this kind of new format uh for youtube at least I've done something kind of similar over on Twitch in the past, and it worked pretty much the same. But it's it's definitely a different environment opening it up live. Just kind of, you know, chilling, interacting. I know it's not the, uh, the Q&A type of thing. It's more active, if you will. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have to see, you know. And that's something, too, I want to give some thought for the, uh, the weekly streams, um, you know what the game plan is with those as well because you know I, I want it to still be something fun and exciting like this is a great stream like this is something that's like hey this is this has a topic this is you know something that's exciting and I, I think we'll we'll do more of these too so just trying to find a good balance on um you know what what can make it fun for y'all so I'll probably have another post for members to kind of see about like hey what are other good options or good ideas for like an ask in advance type thing, because I think I've worn everyone out of questions and stuff, which is fine, but I just want to make sure you're still all having a good time, which is good. But needless to say, um, there's still plenty we have going on. June will be the month of chilling rain. <laughs> cool me down, which is great, because it's getting pretty hot out. It's like in the upper 80s or low 90s for the foreseeable future where I live, or if you're using Celsius, that's like um, 32, 31 to like 34, let's say, that kind of neighborhood. So it's hot, so I could use some chilling rain to cool me down. And then for that next and final box, I hope I can get that Weavile. I am determined to get that, so. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's gonna do it for today. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you on the, uh, the next stream or the next video. But anyway, have a good one and stay cool. Oh yeah, see you next time, everyone.